back to the festivities. My next guest is one of the most innovative and unique executives on the American business scene today, it says here. He is the inventor of the very popular Nautilus exercise equipment and the sole owner of Nautilus Sports Medical Industries, as well as the Nautilus Television Network. He's also toured with Meatloaf. Please welcome... <laughs> no, no. Please welcome Arthur Jones. Arthur, nice to meet you, sir. How are you? Uh, is it uh, a fair assessment to call you a, uh, a unique uh, executive? Is that how you describe well, yourself? I don't describe myself as an executive, and who knows what's unique. So. Uh -huh. uh, I, I read some things. Eccentric, uh, perhaps. Eccentric. But unique, I don't know. What, what in your behavior uh, counts in your mind as eccentric? I didn't say that was my opinion. Oh, I see. Other, other people. Uh, I, I read a couple of things uh, uh, this afternoon about you. I'm not responsible for what the media has to say. All right. Well, so. <laughs> I guess we can pretty much tear these up then. Um, <laughs> let me ask you about a couple of things that right. I read. Uh, this is a huge company, multi-million dollar, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. And you hold meetings at the International House of Pancakes? Well, I don't. You know, Howard Hughes had an old Chevrolet and used restrooms. So I don't have an old Chevrolet, but I do use restrooms at times. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> but, what's eccentric about that? Well, no, no, everybody, of course, uses the restrooms, but... Well, I mean, you, you've only got so much time, you've got to make the best use of it. Yeah, so. but do you have board meetings at the IHOP there? We don't have a board. You don't have a board? No. But uh, one more time, do you have meetings at the International House of Pancakes. Well, I sometimes go to the International House of Pancakes. Yeah. That's a free plug. Yeah. And uh, wherever I happen to be eating. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, now that, but again, it's just your way of con conserving time. Uh, now what about, do you carry a gun? <laughs> they have what they call the Sullivan Law in the state of uh, New York. That's an embarrassing question. Why don't we pass over that? Uh, you embarrass, about, did I embarrass you about carrying a gun? I was once quoted, and uh, accurately, as saying that a gun is like a tourniquet. You may never need one, but when you do, you need it very badly mm -hmm. and very quickly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, now, your, your business is booming. Uh, and and the, I read, read this afternoon where you also don't like to... Um, <laughs> you don't you don't like to uh, publish the the sales figures or the the profits and losses and so forth. Well, you don't hand clubs to people to beat you with. So uh, yeah, but or if it, you do, you get lumps on your head. But is it? Uh, I don't have enough hair for that. Is it? How how much? Can you give us a hint as to how much uh, the company is worth? I don't know. Yeah. Someone once said that if you knew what you were worth, you're not worth very much. Yeah. So this would be probably beyond our wildest imagination. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the equipment itself. This is a phenomenon. This, uh, uh, but it's been around a long time for you, hasn't it? It started when 1947. Well, I built the first Nautilus machine. I've trained with weights, with barbells, for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And many years ago, like a lot of other people, I became aware that something was wrong with the barbell. What I didn't was, know what. Oh, you didn't know what? I didn't know then. It took me 30 years to figure that out. Yeah. The problem with the barbell is. It provides unidirectional, one directional resistance straight up and down as a result of gravity, which would be fine if you were an elephant and you had a reciprocal trunk. But you're a rotary animal. Uh -huh. You don't move in straight lines, you rotate. Even if you move in a straight line, it's a combination of several rotational movements. So the first thing was to design a rotational machine. Yeah. So rather than trying to fit a man to a tool, we fit the tool to the man. Yeah, and uh, been very successful at it. But some people say that these machines... Now, you don't claim that this machine will uh, do everything for everybody, do you? Well, it depends on what they want. It won't write letters and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a, 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 a Nautilus machine is a, is a logical barbell. Uh -huh. You're still lifting weights, but you're lifting weights through a complete range of motion. Mm -hmm. rather than training only the mid-range of possible motion. Yeah. So they're more productive, they're faster, they're safer. They uh, do what they're intended to do, and they do it very well. Right. Now, did you design all of these machines? Yes. I mean, you must have a really good knowledge of anatomy to, to figure out one machine well, for one muscle or two muscles or whatever. It took me 30 years, so uh, yeah. how good my knowledge is now, but, it, you know. Sure. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> uh, okay, we have some stuff back there. You want to go over and, and show us some of these machines, Arthur? And uh, let's do that now. We'll walk over here, if you don't mind. Okay. Arthur and I are going to go examine the Nautilus equipment. If you'll walk this way, please. Uh, how do you do? Well, and these are uh, these are some of the, the newest uh, machines. Yes, that, okay. Well, some of these are quite old, and some are quite new. Quite new. Now, why don't you? This is this one. Uh, this uh, uh, woman here is. Why don't you introduce her for us? My wife, Terry. Terry, and, and uh, nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? And and uh, you, what is Terry working on there? It's a torso arm machine, which works the muscles of the back, the muscles of the chest, and involves the muscles of the arms uh -huh. as well. And, and anything else uh, uh, will, uh, this machine will do? Well, it's designed to do a very specific job. Nautilus machines are not a, a generalist thing. They're very specific, like a helicopter. Mm -hmm. They do a very specific job, and they're designed. Function dictates design. You have to design things to do a particular job. That works certain muscles as they need to be worked. Uh -huh. Each machine works a certain muscle or a certain group of muscles. Okay. You want to turn around? I think you kind of have your... There you go, Arthur. Right. Uh, and uh, do you work on these machines? I haven't in about eight months, but I generally do. I've trained with weights for over 40 years, off again, on again. If you ever train long enough to produce any results, then you will be a weight trainee for the rest of your life. Well, how, how can you... Better and you look better, and when you quit, then you're immediately attracted back to it, so... Why did you quit? I had to have a piece of my uh, posterior removed surgically, and uh, that put me in a position... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I asked. I... <laughs> I'm making no no ground here whatsoever, am I? Uh, but you, uh, Terry, you work on the machines uh, obviously all the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what, <laughs> where? Uh, show me what else we're going to do, Arthur. Where's the one that types? I want to find out where. Oh, you know, all right. A, a very good demonstration of something here. If you will get on this machine, kind of like a horse. This is a low back machine. If you will step on, no, get around here. Just step across there like you were mounting a horse and put your back in front of this. Oh, my back. You want to face this way. Few horses step, have one step of these. Across. That's right. Very, very few. Very, very few. You can sue me later. Just to, now, this, these now, are brand new, aren't they? This these is are... a low back machine that was designed specifically for exercises. Sit down. Oh. Put your legs under here. Put your feet up here. Wait, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Sit down. If you will put your feet forward, you can. Whoa. If you will bring the legs forward, feet, feet up here. Okay, all right. Just Wait now, I'm gonna have to get somebody to lift this. No, no, oh, thank it's you. Designed to hold your leg in place. Put the other foot, the left, oh, or the, the one on that side. Well, this one won't go at all. I can... The foot. The damn you thing. You will move the foot here. I... This is intended to hold you down tightly. <laughs> oh, there. Now, thank you. Get thank a little you. farther forward. Now rotate these until they're tight, and that will hold you in position. Oh, good. Now, put your arms across your chest. Without jerking smoothly, just lean back. You're, you're using specifically the muscles of your lower back. Just lean back. Right on back. Oh, that's fine. Right on oh, this back, is right nice. On back, right on back. Right on back. Stewardess, could I have a pillow, now, please? Now, come forward, man. I'm gonna... <laughs> what? If you'll come forward, I'm going to give you a little more resistance. Okay. By the way, that did we mention, Arthur, that, uh, level of resistance now. that uh, you, uh, the, you, uh, Terry is, is also your wife? Did we yes. point that out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. I mentioned that. Oh, okay. All right. One more time. Right one on more back. Time. One more time. Okay, come on back, on back, on back. You didn't go far enough. Oh, I didn't go far you didn't enough. Go far enough. Right on back, right on back. Now come forward, come forward. Now relax a second. We can give you a little more. Do it again. One more. One more. Right on back, right on back. You can do that quite easily. All right, Farther now come back. forward, come forward. A little further. Yes, come forward. Now I'm going to give you one more. Okay. Now that's your. How is well, this event scored, Arthur? How is that event scored? You are putting some pressure on. I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. One more time. Now, as you see, that's reasonably easy to do. Your lower back is quite <laughs> strong. Now, get off the machine and come around here. Now, just get off like you get off a horse. <laughs> a normal person can get in and out of these oh, machines quite easily. <laughs> You will walk around here now. A normal person. <laughs> uh, average, excuse me. Now, what I, want, what I want you to do is from the front, from the front, standing here, put your hands on there and attempt to push that bar back. All right, I'm going now, to push with your, with your back, hand. you raised How much it. Do we have time to do this? With your back, you were able to raise it here. Let's see if you can do it with your arms. Go ahead, push. Both arms, both arms. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Come on, get it up to here. Come on, come on. Now you realize what you were doing. That's how oh, strong yeah. your lower right. back is. We're, we're going to uh, go away for a commercial, but uh, we'll be right back. Take another look at my lower back.